The summer season is, of course, the season of the blockbuster. The sequel, the spin-off, the reboot, and the remake. The reason is Hollywood loves to go with the tried and true, the sure thing because the stakes are so very high. And there's no better way to grab someone's attention than to do a sequel or a remake. Most of the audience already know what they are going to be getting. And that's super important. Something like one third to one half of the total box office gross for the year is earned in just a few short months. Now, traditionally, Hollywood defines the summer movie season as starting with Memorial Day and ending with Labor Day. But many folks feel this year it began early with the release of Avengers Endgame back on April 26th. That is so far the biggest blockbuster of the year with worldwide earnings now past two and a half billion dollars. But there are a couple of summer titles that could reach the lofty heights Avengers have already reached. Spider-Man Far From Home is the latest to feature the young Spider-Man. That would be Tom Holland. This time, Peter Parker is going to Europe on a class trip. He wants a break from Spider-Man for a time. He's sick of wearing the suit. So he's going with the rest of his class on a trip to Europe. Now, naturally, trouble follows him there. So we'll have to see if this Spider-Man, far from home this summer, works as well as the Spider-Man closer to home. The biggest movie of the summer, in fact, what could be the biggest movie of the entire year is The Lion King. This is a photorealistic remake of the beloved 1994 cartoon. John Favreau is directing this new version and he pioneered the technique of photorealistic animation on The Jungle Book. Now, unlike that movie from three years ago, this does not have a human actor. It is created entirely in the computer. Early on, it was billed as a live action Lion King. That proved to be a misnomer. This is more like a VR or virtual reality game. An entire universe in Africa constructed in a computer with some of the biggest stars in the world lending their voices. Let's talk about a movie I'm really looking forward to seeing. It's a movie for adults called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's directed by Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino grew up in Los Angeles, and this has been described as his love letter to the city. And being Tarantino, his love letter is pretty dark. It takes place in 1969, around the time of the Manson murders. Now, Leonardo DiCaprio stars as an aging Western actor, past his peak, but still a Hollywood name. Brad Pitt is his longtime stunt double, and Margot Robbie plays the late Sharon Tate, a real character murdered by members of the Manson gang back in 1969. I think this is the movie for adults to see this summer. Described as a time capsule that takes us back to 1969 and some pretty dark days in a very sunny place. I'm a car guy, so I love the Fast and Furious franchise. But Hobbs and Shaw now have a movie to call their own. These two characters, played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham, have become two of the most popular characters in the Fast and Furious franchise, which, believe it or not, is 18 years, almost two decades old. These guys have come to dominate the later movies, and this time, they have a movie to call their own. We're off to a great start this summer. Already, we've seen Toy Story 4 hit big in theaters, and Aladdin, has so far made $600 million around the world. Now, to put that in perspective, that is more than the original cartoon starring Robin Williams made during its entire run. So grab the popcorn. I'll see you at the movies. I'm Sandy Kenyon, Eyewitness News.